clinic and that is his methodology coming in here tonight he'll try to keep the fight on the floor. and that's why we tune in right that's why we tune in we tune in to see guys that are dynamic we tune in for the speed we tune in for the knowledge of the striking game the ability to set traps the ability to find the jab the ability to find the right hand the right kick the left kick the knees the elbows he truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent you make one mistake Night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 148 pounds. Fighting out of Hoboken, New Jersey, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? He gets caught with that punch. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good time that that landed. Man, he's timing it 
the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Give me that inside kick to the leg there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Nice straight punch. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Right hand upstairs. Please punch to the body of that one is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, Muay Thai clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defense. Oh, this fight's going to be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. It's now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice punch there. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Just missed with the elbow there. Unable to connect with the right. I mean, he's cutting him down to size. Beautiful leg kick. Nice sneaky head kick. The right hook to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Looking to land the right just out of range. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Huge knee lands from in close. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh! What an end to round one! All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Yeah. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Slips that left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice strike. And he landed. 
avoided the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, big hit she lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. to the body now, that one won't land. Nice punch man over the top. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute, he did so there. Nice head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's income. Big ball and punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Big head kick land. Clinch now. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? There's the right hand there. of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big kick lands. Connects with a right. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. It's such a fast leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Checks that leg kick. Beautiful kick. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Tags him with the left. Ball oh, shoots for the double leg takedown. Look to be a good entry. Unable to finish the job. Great punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's been done. He's not even getting a combination. Oh! his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, big left. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Liver kick. They continue to exchange. Right punches there. And they separate. Good one. 15 seconds. Big kick land. And he caught the kick. And that's the end of round number two. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the... You ready? You ready? Third round underway. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight both. Oh! Oh! Massive, massive look lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Nice high kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He loaded up there on that high kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, big elbow. Oh. Oh, big left. Nice kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Blocks the shot. Kick to the body finally. Just misses there with the left. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, the kickboxing shops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand on point. Back and forth we go. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. <laughs> Man. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Nice leg kick land. He went high on that one. That lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice body right under the elbow. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Ten seconds to go. Nice kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Whoa! Oh, shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh! Got a single collar tie. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big punch land. Boom. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Real nice body kick land. Oh, a huge block there. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch by Lee. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Big knee. Head kick. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Get the turtle in that kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Looked like a hook to the body there on the counter. Yes, good work by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big body kick. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight night. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. What a body kick. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. <laughs> what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 45 seconds remain in the round. And they separate. Pretty 
Good right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the rounds. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Can't take many of those, you better check. 15 seconds. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. 10 seconds remaining here in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Beautiful strikes. Liver kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How good is that right hand? kick to the bottom. Kick, kick, man. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, big punch land. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Nice shot to the body there. Missed with that right hand. Big kick land. Big leg kick land. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful punch. Block that kick to the body. Right now, John. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit he's up. He's going at it now. Just misses with that one. Oh, he got a move here, too. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, 
right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Less than a minute to go to decide this one. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lou. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. That was a nice strike. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, he closed all the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Right on the button. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. decision now in the buff has it ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 50 45 for the winner by unanimous decision butcher all right so the judges are in agreement tonight he is your winner by unanimous decision certainly pretty easy fight to score i thought yeah i thought it was an easy fight to score whereas his opponent had a few moments he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He 